and then the third world, and then the other, and then there was like a tree world, Excuse and then me, I was very, I was very disturbed. No, it might have been a different, it was a different world, it could have been that. That is a whole Because, like, they... I don't know. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. The cube is the best. I know. Sympathic Easter. So, so what's with the armor? Why not? Why not? Uh, not that I know. Your chamber's massive. Your chamber's massive. I tried to decide which version I wanted. I'm not killing anyone. I flipped the coin. No weapons. You can kind of see the result. I'm not a version because I lost a coin. So I was forced to Sorry, how else do you expect me to decide? The Emperor. He tried to bend the tide. Okay, well, fine. That's good. All right, good to hear that. I'm surprised I didn't break mine. Dad. Because I didn't leave the 2.5 at the back. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. Our point of contact to the narrative domain. Do you feel it? The air is thick with ether. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic magnetic <coughs> meme complex. I'm one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We are a group of friends that create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team efforts. We do this for free. We do this for fun. We do this for you. Tonight, we will travel to a place hidden in the western lush mountains. A few notes before we begin. Oh. If you are experiencing lag, disabling all avatars in your settings menu <laughs> should help. Please keep the avatars enabled of your tour guides, Rendizo, Trajan, and lagging out so bad. In a moment, I will open an invite plus portal to the narrative domain. Please refrain from entering until we give the signal that it is stable, should the portal vanish. A link to the tour world will be given, and we will allow you to get there via invite request as well. Now then, old friends. Travelers, newcomers, tonight is special. The final showing of a story very dear to my heart. Those of you standing in front of me, kindly step aside, and now I will open the door. As soon as we see the portal, we stop. I know. <sighs> <sighs> Drop in a portal. Why are you guys so good at this? Ah, I'm not oh. dying. Didn't make you make it today. Travelers, it appears to be stable. You may Ready? enter. I have a feeling Let's, that's 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 let's go, user. You're lucky the portal work this time.
can't. Yeah, this is the other world. Oh, it's very well optimized. He's gonna be fine. Oh, we lost him already. Don't worry, he'll be fine. I think we're right at home. My limbs now we're at it. Unfortunately, it happened to be more Careful than that. Careful, D, that actually happened. Alright. <coughs> Take care of yourself. Magic. Yeah. Uh, Frank. And go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What, you want me to drink with you too? Yeah, I can actually. You know I can't drink. I am literally the worst person for charades, okay? I am so bad at you. have no idea. Hey, user! Oh, look, smile! I was saying, you said such a goose in the movie. You really just stopped yourself from getting injured by four. I don't believe I can use magic. And I don't teach. You keep forgetting that the wings have weird colliders on them, so sometimes you need to go to That's how you learn magic. Please move to wait. It's nice to see you again. Not every. Not every. The story is beginning. Go to college. The way you can hear Sheen. Ten thousand thank yous, travelers. Welcome to the narrative domain. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, please stay with your guide and kindly. Remain silent during narration. However, please feel welcome to talk freely as we walk from place to place. Finally, travelers, at this time, please make sure your world music is turned up to an immersive level. You should be able to clearly hear the waterfalls. Now, without further ado, the story tour begins. <coughs> the appraiser makes her way through the western lush mountains. She smiles as she walks alone, passing various old ruins. Her adventurous spirit powers her forward. She sees everything in front of her as a beautiful thing to learn about. This would be her first time exploring this region. The everlasting quest to find a new flavor of ether guides her. 
She's been traveling for as long as she can remember. Walking through a dark, moss-covered tunnel now. Her hand trails across carved stone. She wonders how many years have passed since anyone has traversed this path. Soon she emerges into a beautiful, hidden valley lined with high waterfalls. A bright village lies at its center, as if waiting for her. Incredible. It's just as beautiful as I've heard. All right, let's check my position. Huh? Why is my compass spinning? Some sort of magnetic disturbance around me. Of course, there is definitely something going on in this place. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I will find a pure crystal here. I can already sense it. Ah, welcome to Eternic Village. The appraiser audibly welcomes herself to a Turnic village. Now, grinning into the sky, she watches, and a moment passes. Her eyes move down to the path ahead. She adjusts her merchant backpack, straightens her boots, and readies to walk. The appraiser moves confidently onward. My friends, this way. <clears throat> well, let's go, well, baby, and quit drinking. <laughs> hey, I may or may not have spilled a shot on the table. Uh, this is the first tour where my drifting, stick drifting is finally fixed. No more stick drift, finally. I cannot back up anymore. Nice. I am faster than people now. Yes. <laughs> I see the Kamzar has returned. I shall now return to Blood Rape Exterminator. My friends. I tried to get your attention. There we go. It's okay, it's a tour. My friends, there are treasure chests scattered around this world. Please refrain from opening them until a quest requires it. The appraiser stops before the bridge to focus on the ether in the air. This feeling, wow, this is definitely a new emotion ether, a crystal for sure. But why is it so familiar? Oh, hello there, Mayus. An old man calls from up an orange tree, breaking her train of thought. An overstuffed canvas pick sack is strapped over his shoulder and tied to his waist. It looks ready to burst any second. The old man nearly falls from the tree, trying to wave to her. Hello? Oh, careful now. Uh, you are quite high up there. Hey, Pops, where's your ladder? Oh, it fell over the... Oh, here it is. Let's put it back against the tree. You will never get down with that many oranges on your person. Why don't you take what you have home now and come back for more later? Oh, I could have sworn it was. Well, no can do, miss. You see, harvest has started, and I woke up especially early this morning to get picking. Picking before those darn kids. Uh, anyways, thanks for your help, uh... Oh, your pack. Hmm... A traveling merchant, are you? Indeed, Pops. I'm here to roll coin, eat hearty, trade booty, and make friends. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it! Welcome to Eternic Village, you spirited lass. The market is just down the way. The friendly villager returns to picking oranges. Focused, the appraiser crosses the bridge toward the market. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Indeed. 
Welcome back. You to have awoken. Forgive me. Yeah. The green grunt. You're, you're a blood angel, huh? How many things have you stolen? Just two. I had a real life thing with my. The whole group's here. <laughs> I forget. Oh man, they went AFK. Okay. I got stolen. Tactically acquired. Different. <laughs> yes, I found a relic. Still have my eye on you, Carbon I must... Cola. I am simply. I am making oh, sure you don't relic. do something sinister here. Oh, a peaceful yes, place. Yes, yes. Ugh. So many colors and smells and bubbliness. Hey, so how you like how you like the squads again? Check it up, man. No, I'm not squatting over. My legs are propped up on my chair and I'm all, I'm laying on my floor. I'm gonna go down this way because we're down the street. Let me see. Okay. 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 In order to show everyone no. what the correct path was. There we go. Main. Yes, today is the right one. My favorite path. wagon that be dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the wagon that do be dragon. <laughs> the do be dragon. Oh, oh. It's up. oh geez, I fell off. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah, I don't know who the hell it was, so whatever that was, it was like looked kind of cool. He was just kind of <laughs> hanging out back there. Oh god, I almost died. Travelers, the story continues. The appraiser enters the town square, the central point of this village. She studies her surroundings, observing all the people busy preparing for their day. She tries to hone in on the ether crystal, but the air is too thick with all kinds of buzzing flavors. Ether melons, get your ether melons here. One bite and you'll be in your mama's arms again. Warm bread, wheat, rye, wonder, sourdough, banana, corn, ginger, pumpernickel. We got it all. Fresh fish, sea fish, sea demons caught fresh from the Ava River. Got some squiddy things here too last night. Don't put your hands near the body ends. Nailed it. The appraiser smiles. <laughs> <laughs> One thing's for sure. <coughs> this place is full of interesting stories and new friends, and she already loves it. The appraiser runs out into the center of the street and spins in place to see all the possible locations. Her arms out as if she is dancing with the village itself. Ah, let's see. We just came from an orange grove near the entrance bridge. In the market, we have the Magic Bazaar and the Baker's Stall. Down the way, there was a pumpkin patch. Then further down are what looks like the village docks. The other way leads to some rolling fields with the farmhouse. And I saw a big hill of windmills, too. I think I noticed a weird smelling windmill on the way in here. Also, is that singing I hear? It sounds familiar. Hmm. Finally... There is that giant tree up that way. There is surely something interesting going on there. Mm-hmm. Okay, focus. I need to find that crystal. I wonder where I should look first. My friends, at this time, we, or rather, one of us, must choose where the appraiser will explore next. To save time due to the length of this story, I will skip the decision time and call on one of you randomly. If you don't know what to say, you may ask the group for assistance or you ask may pass. Your mute. How do you guys do that with Okay, I, I wanna I wanna I wanna Orange get this right. So the order is Baker, you Orange Grove, Magic Bazaar, Doc, Smelly Wind, Artisan, Windmill Hill, Pumpkin the Patch, Farmhouse, Pine Tree. So we do bakery you. first. So you guys are cheating what you're saying. Ah, <laughs> Green yes, Grunt. Hello sweet. there in the back, Green Grunt. May I ask you, where will the appraiser explore first? The bakery. Bakery. Yay. Yay. 
Excellent choice. Excellent. I'm green to the eye. A wonderful choice, my friends. It's just a short angry. hop I'm skip angry. over I'm this angry. way. <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> Me. Oh, right. yeah. 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 The orange grove. Then I call 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 the orange grove. I, I can interact with your tail because of the whole cheese phone thing. I can't even grab it. Come on, your tail. What's up? It's how we learn grammar. Three point zero SDK for straw. The story. It's a very old avatar. He's your bigger. Yeah, my legs are derp though. The boops are way up there. <laughs> the appraiser makes her way to the baker stall. The air is warm and sweet. She begins to walk on her tippy toes with her nose in the air, following the spell of carb magic. She, just so she looks down and sees a colorful assortment of bread. Some are lightly engraved with little designs. She, she can sense the ether infused in those. Oops. <laughs> I bet this one tastes like purple. A plump lady with big rosy cheeks bounces over to the counter. That's right, you're a clever one. Able to tell the ether type by just the smell. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you can't pass through the western lush mountains without trying some of my bread. My bakery is known for having an exotic variety made from rare ingredients. Would you like a sample? Actually, I'd like to buy a whole loaf. A loaf of here, this one, the blueberry infused. Wait, wait, make it two. Oh, how wonderful. You have made my day. I know the price is high, but it's my passion to use rare ingredients. They're just so awfully expensive to acquire. Thank you so very much. The appraiser hands over a fat stack of coin and immediately begins chomping on the bread. Hmm. Mm. Excuse me. I'm looking for an ether crystal. Rumor is there is one in this village. Hmm. I haven't heard any rumors. There are infusers and alchemists here in, in the village, though. They may likely know something about it. Oh, a light warning for you, miss. They are an odd bunch. The appraiser says goodbye to the rosy-cheeked baker and stands in the street, still nibbling on one of her loaves. My friends, please, take as many bread loaves as you like from the stall at this time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, orange. Okay, orange. Orange. Oh, no, somebody grab mine. Orange. Let me get one of these. Got one. Oh, oh, it's mine. This is the last chance we have to get this cat. I don't want to waste Apologies. Bread. Well, yeah. 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 Our next location. It's quite all right. That bread sure is delicious. It's hard to contain yourself. If I could eat, I'd feel the same way. My <laughs> friends, where will the appraiser explore next? Let's see. I would like to call on... Carbon Cola, may I call on you? Yes, you can. 10,000 thank yous, Carbon. Carbon, where oh, would you like the appraiser to explore next? Sorry, could you repeat the options? I was distracted. So good. Carbon, 
I will let you ask the group if that's all right. Hmm. Um, Carbon, you okay. should go to Orange that? Grove. Yes. <laughs> that is recommended. Like my talk, orange talk. Grove because I want to see the correct path. I'm curious. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Oranges. I demand them. <laughs> 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 the orange grow. I thought I did. So <laughs> nobody just sent a join request to me. A note to travelers. Oh. Feel welcome to choose any location you wish. What you and want any will likely want happen. Status? Now then, friends, this way. Got me there. Orange uh, Yeah, I think. Wait, did he cr uh, crash earlier? I don't see him around exactly. and then he sent me a, he sent me a join request so I think he disconnected. I mean, hold on to this mighty bread. It tastes super delicious. I think, I think this one's infused. I think this is the purple infused one that um yeah, at the over there at the appraiser sm sniffed. Oh, do you see? Oh, is he back in the Who knew ether tastes delicious? Yeah. We're kind of going that way anyways, I think. I didn't even think ether had a taste. Oh, well, you learned some things. Well, it's infused into something you can purple, eat. So. It's an infused ether. Mm. So I'd say the the ether probably just so enhances the flavor. It basically just fills it's me with the It's infused with the flavor of thousand rainbows. And probably gives you some I mean, so, some light ether effects like you would with the drinks back at Sheen's Bar. I'm trying to remember what emotion purple is, though. Trust. Like, I don't know it's enough okay. about this stuff to even make I... assumptions. Well, so, I am feeling a nice amount of trust. To keep track of sometimes. With the, with, I mean, with the exception of someone here, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> An interesting detail is that the appraiser says that the uh, one of the bread lo loaves smells like purple when the crystal is supposedly a purple crystal that she doesn't recognize. Summer break! Yay! <laughs> Interesting foreshadowing. Not looking at it good. <laughs> the real treasure was the friendships Don't. we made along the way. Don't <laughs> open <laughs> it. I was not opening it. Did you not even hear what I was trying to do? I was not trying to. There's a hole here. <laughs> Ruin my bit, man. <laughs> ah, <laughs> the appraiser. The appraiser returns to the orange grove near the entrance bridge. There, she sees the orange picker sitting down under one of the trees, concentrating with an orange in one hand and a dagger in the other. Hmm. Are you planning on infusing those oranges? I thought you need to hurry before the village kids get here. Oh, hello again, miss. Well, you see, I'm too old to get back here in time for a second picking. I figured I would try my hand in fusing these oranges and then, you know, selling them at a high price, just like those fancy magic bread loaves. Oh, looks like I have no idea what I'm doing, though. You mean one of these magic bread loaves? The appraiser holds out the blueberry ether infused bread. Just then. A pack of rowdy kids come parading over the bridge. They stop in front of the orange tree, but one of them sniffs the air. Quickly, the whole pack is alerted and surrounds the appraiser, eyeing the expensive bread. The appraiser looks over the small crowd and watches as the orange picker frowns and looks down at his oranges. She has an idea. She asks the hungry kids to make a deal. Leave the orange trees alone today and she will give them the entire loaf. They quickly agree. They take the bread and scurry back across the bridge. Yeah, my bread. Oh, miss, you didn't have to do that for me. That was some top shelf dough you just handed over. Oh, well, now I have the whole day to pick as many oranges as I want. Please, take this old dagger. It has a little ether inside itself. I'm sure you will make better use of it than me. My friends, please stuff every piece of bread we are carrying into this chest and take the dagger out. Yeah, but my 
saved it, Fred. I'm not even done eating it. Quickly, eat it. Put the, put the bread in the box. Put it in the Assemble box. the bread. <laughs> the box. Inhale no, the bread. No, 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 no. Fred is in the box. Oh. Fred. <laughs> there is no bread. The bread is all made. Like cheese wheels and bread. It's, it's all gosh. government it's conspiracy. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Holy shit. What the fuck? I didn't know you were bread. Yeah, I'm trying to love it. He's a Oh, he's one of my, uh... My friend. He's been for his back the dagger. What you expect? Apprentice is rotten human. He's my master. The appraiser. That baby takes me and studies the dagger. The horn design appears ceremonial. The blade itself is in terrific condition. She can tell the steel is infused by engravings along the side that give off a faint magic. She turns to face the village and reviews all the places she can explore. Let's see. I would like to call on, if it's all right. Owlboy. Hello there. Oh no. May I ask Hello. you, <laughs> which location will the appraiser explore next? Your choices can help with the are as follows. The Magic Bazaar, the Baker's Stall, Pumpkin Patch, the Dock, the Farmhouse, Windmill Hill, the Smelly Mill, Singer's Hill, and the Giant Tree. Windmill Hill? I see. Did you say Windmill Hill? <laughs> yes. I believe that was one of the options. The Encephalon has observed your choices, travelers. However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. Thus, the story continues. Ah, Alboy. Um. I see that you said Magic Bazaar. My friends, this way. Okay. So we do get to see the correct path. Cool. I don't think you're doing it. Jeez, did you know Alpha? He makes the great This guy's here. What the fuck? Actually, who else wants to hold under this dagger? Do you want a dagger? Yeah. We already have a full recording of this. This is the good ending on my YouTube. Hey, who took the dagger? I want one. Uh, that was yeah, 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 fine. Much. I think that something that I did not um, expect. I can tell you that much from every single creator that I've seen. Uh, in the I've seen. Yeah, you know, Jar's been here though before, right? Uh, yeah. Jar's been here, here yeah. Yeah. during the ages. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. drop by. Like I'm not surprised yeah. at the amount of people that have dropped by. In all honesty. Yeah, we've had Jar, we've had Mr. Creepy Pasta, and I have Owl Boy. Yeah, good to always see new faces around here. I'm not that I'm not that well versed in VR chat celebrity. So I, I am glad that I no longer have to care about the the choices though. I was real. I didn't realize that would happen. Uh, Alright, everyone get in the cool kids trough. In my index, it was like flashing gray. Oh dear. Cool kids trough. Yay. <laughs> cool kids trough. Alright, cool. Mm. Cool kids trough. The L trough. Okay, here it goes. I just wanted to do it. Now, now the L trough. Can't just say L something. This is totally not a nightmare. <laughs> no, we need metal gen for that. His dreams and nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually had a relatively normal dream last night. Travelers, the story continues. <laughs> the appraiser senses ether in the air as she approaches the mysterious stall of the magic bazaar 
which is mysteriously quiet inside despite its position in the central market. Inside are various mysterious items like jewelry, ceramics, files, and books. The appraiser ignores them all and continues to stare at a mysterious tall stack of dark books on the table. Suddenly, a mysterious voice comes from the <laughs> shadows. It seems you've met with a uncertain fate. You find yourself at a... a, a mysterious place? <laughs> there is no need to be nervous. Please, come out from behind those books. I am a paying customer, and I wish to speak face-to-face -face with the mysterious owner of this m mysterious shop. A very short youth, wearing a dark blue hooded robe, steps out from the shadows. The appraiser smiles and holds her nose with one hand and motions to shake his hand with the other. Thank you for the mysterious welcome, but please, will you extinguish your ether oil infuser? I appreciate the dramatic effect of making your customers uh, constantly smell the word mysterious, but this is mysteriously overwhelming. Every other mysterious word I want to say comes out as, ah, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, golly, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it would affect some people so strongly. Hmm. Okay, there, I have extinguished the oil. Are you, uh, mysteriously okay? Sorry, I, I just wanted to make my brand known here in the market. You see, the harvest is starting, and it's hard to compete with all, with all the demand for food. Ah, the harvest. Okay. Hmm. Although your skill is great, you are new to infusing things with ether, aren't you? Hmm, yes. How did you know? As soon as I figured out that ether can give unique properties to normal things, I started experimenting. There's so many emotion combinations to invoke. I found it easy to think about what I want the item to do and, and to let the flow of ether guide my engraving tool. But I just don't understand the language I end up writing at all. It's not a language, really. It's more like a design that triggers a mimetic effect of a shared unconscious. Uh, never mind. Why don't you engrave and infuse food? There is high demand for that. Hmm. You sure know a lot. But I can't infuse food, though. That requires skill beyond me. I disagree. Looking at all your work here, your skill is more than enough. What you need is a better tool. I have it. How about this infused dagger? I'm sure this belonged to an expert engraver of delicate materials. Whoa, so mysterious. The craftsmanship is superb. I feel confidence just from looking at the engravings on it. Oh, I'm afraid I don't have anything of matching value to trade you, miss. Uh, wait. I do have one very mysterious thing. Will you please follow me into that mysterious alley? The appraiser, I'm slightly concerned. concerned, but curious, grips the dagger and follows the young infuser. My mm. friends, this way. Oh, mm. this is interesting. Well, apparently me and the appraiser mm. thought alike. And concerns this just... Oh. Mm. I've always wanted to go into a, a dark Pretty alley cramps. with somebody. I like it. Yo, He's first time going into a dark alley with someone? Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Heck yeah. First I'm mysterious great. dark alley. Ooh, it's not that. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not thinking I can't be here. Oh, oh. I know there's oh, shadows here. Oh. It's not the <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh, oh. I want it to be the LOL. Hey, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> The story continues. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> the name you guys <laughs> Now this. I knew it was coming, this, so I decided this to get This mysterious ahead of thing. This is a magic lantern. I made it after a mysterious dream. This lamp never goes out, no matter where you put it. I have no idea how to replicate what I did. I can't remember the dream either. 
Hmm. I think you would remember how to make it if you quit burning that ether air infuser. Is that even oil that you put in it? Oh no, I, I used the ink from the squiddy monsters. You know, the ones the fishers throw away. If you drink a mug of it, you'll black out and have weird dreams. It's like from another world or something. Infusing it with ether into the air just makes you feel like everything is... Well, you know. Don't say it. Don't say the word. You got a deal. Let's trade. Now, I am looking for an ether crystal. I can sense one in this village. Have you heard any... Uh, mysterious rumors? Oh, I saw one. The holy knight visiting our village was carrying it. He is still here, over at the time tree. Uh, good luck getting through his squire, though. My friends, please replace the magic lantern in this chest with the infused dagger we carry. The appraiser Ooh. says goodbye to the mysterious infuser, <laughs> then reviews all the places she can explore. Travelers, I'd like to call on... Is it Twocky, T-W-O-C-C-Y? -C -C May I call on you? Uh, sure. Oh, that's Tusi. Who's Twocky? Tusi, apologies. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> Welcome. Stanley, Tell me, Tusi. <laughs> where will the appraiser explore next? Hmm. What about the pumpkin patch? Yes. The pumpkin patch, you say? Well, oh. the encephalon has observed your choices, travelers. <laughs> However, it will not allow any deviations from the medic recording. <laughs> Thus, Why is this the story uh... continues. <laughs> Emperor! To see. The walk to the docks is quite the scenic one. Please be sure to look around as we make our way, our way there. This way. Oh, no. uh, this is we just need to hold this land. Good choice, Tusi. I was trying to go to the docks. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. I can feel the stress lifted off your little rat shoulder. Yes, well, like <laughs> it just it just turned now from me wanting the best to just funny. Ah, so uh. this is your best little day. Uh. Mm, that was a good burger. Okay, it it does look so like fast. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could enter in that water and, and go for a swim. Yes. Unfortunately, it's kind of infested. Dude, diving off the waterfalls would be fun. I think. I'm really not trying to see. Is the huh? water really infested? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I'm trying the anomaly here. Oh, the floor is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> then stop being on the floor. Oh, the bed is so much comfier. Correct. Oh, Holy shit, a dead cat. Oh, look at you just being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> It took you so long. <laughs> I still need to add the hunter to my deck. This thing has seen many. Much damage. Cool yeah. mechanical keyboard. I'll just get my tailor to repair. <laughs> travelers. Dearest lovely travelers, the story continues. The appraiser turns to face the sound of ringing ship bells. With her hands softly held together at her front waist, she trots happily down the scenic path toward the docks. In the distance, she observes several fishers lining the water, one of which seems to be struggling to reel in a catch. The fisher nearly gets pulled over the edge, and the appraiser grits her teeth. 
and brings her hands up to squish her own cheeks in suspense. Finally, with the help of the others nearby, the catch is pulled onto the dock, and the fisher drops and takes a rest. It appears to be a squid-type monster, and all the villagers surrounding trade looks of despair. The appraiser keeps walking. Is it a dark water type or a dark poison or water poison type? At the docks farther away, she <laughs> notices a tall woman with sun bleached hair casting her own line off another pier. There's an empty fish bucket at her side. The appraiser meanders over and watches with curiosity as the tall fisher's lure sinks beneath the dark water. Looks like nothing is biting this morning. Those other fishers over there seem to not not to be having any luck either. Has the water always been this murky? Huh? Oh, yeah. It's been this way for weeks now. These squiddy monsters rode in with the southern currents. It's made fishing nearly impossible. You even make the slightest movement, and they ink up the water, blinding all the fish. What's worse is they are nasty little buggers that will bite your hooks and your hands if you're not careful. Hmm. Southern current, huh? Have you tried fishing outside the village on a larger ship, maybe with a trawl net? Oh, the village only owns one trawler, and we all have to share it. I have my shift on it. That's, uh, that's all I have now. The sun-bleached fisher looks over at her conversation partner for the first time. The appraiser watches as the fisher gloomily studies her merchant pack and traveling boots. You won out, don't you? You're out here waiting for your shift on that vessel so you can catch a glimpse of the world out there past these mountains. Ah, oh, yeah, you read my mind. I want to see the world my father told me about. My dream is to eventually earn enough here to buy my own ship and captain my own crew. I'll sail the open ocean, go further than the Aquavi Islands. No more mountains between me and that horizon. Oh, but I can't even do that. Eternix One Trawler has reported the squiddies out there in the seas, biting through all our nets. Listen, mm, don't give up. No traveler worth their ether would let any barrier to New World stop them. Trust me, I know. Let's see, I may have something that could help you. Try hanging this, man this magic lantern underwater where you want to cast your lures. The fisher is thrilled to see the magic lamp not only remains lit underwater, but also drives away the squiddy monsters while attracting the fish. In her excitement, she motions to wait and runs off. She returns with an interesting-looking shield that the appraiser immediately senses is heavily infused. I pulled this up from the ocean floor way out on the coast. I can tell it is... It has some magic quality to it. Mm. You're looking for stuff like this, right? I've got no real use for it, so it's a fair trade. What do you say? You got yourself a deal. Let's shake on it. Oh, by the way. Yeah? Um, check out the mysterious magic bazaar in the market for more waterproof lanterns. Mm. My friends, please replace the infused shield in the chest with the magic lantern. The appraiser says goodbye to the tall, sun-bleached fisher, mm. and then reviews all the places she can explore. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> where did the lantern go? I'm he, he's already grabbed it. it. Oh, someone there. already grabbed it. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 then oh, I'm not worrying oh, about it. Oh, I lost it. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Esidus, back there. May I call on you? All right. No worries. Pass. Let's see. Leon Wolf. Hello there. May I call on you? Sure. Dearest Leon, where will the appraiser explore next? If I remember correctly, I think it's where that smell's coming from. The smell? What? The smelly mill? A smelly, smelly smell, 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 you say, smell. Leon? It smells. <laughs> Very well. Smelly smell. Smelly smell. Smelly smell. Smelly Follow your noses. <laughs> and while we walk, <laughs> have you noticed how many Whoa. windmills are in this village? I dare you to count as we walk. This way, travelers. Wait, DJ, I think I gotta catch. Could, could you hold on for a second? I think there are at least zero. I think there are at least zero. The smelly mill is where this year. Yeah, we have to do the hop up where you get the. Well, the real question is how are you going to follow your nose if you got a mask on? I don't need to follow a nose. That's what. Uh, oh, yes, right. We don't have the hound. Good morning, we have a space wolf with us. <sighs> Unfortunately, yes, you're right. This is a very dangerous path. As long as you're careful, it seems perfectly fine. You just gotta be careful. The not more danger, the over. more fun. I mean, it's paved. Yeah, it's paved. Oh, well, if you step on a, like, a rock where you just slip on it, just tumble down into the water below. Well, apparently, it's no one's had any problems before. Skill issue. Well, the whole ground is just one polygon. Skill issue. Thinning out the weak. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we weed out the weak ones. Yeah. Natural selection. <laughs> how lovely. Agreed, oh, actually. I'm going to do that. I'm going to agree. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at interpretation of what the funny words are going to be, though. That, that's even better. Funny words. <laughs> Let this be the literal funniest thing in the entirety of your travelers. Sheen, you better chose poorly. Yeah, I want to go see pumpkins, but I feel it's wrong. I don't want to fall down there. Really it makes me get Peter die. <laughs> Doesn't mean you help around. The story continues. What just fell? What just fell? Yeah, maybe I can. That doesn't work. The All appraiser right. flares her nostrils to pick up on that smelly odor she passed through earlier. She sniffs hard near the door, and immediately goes bug-eyed, regretting the action. By the god! <laughs> it burns! That is not either! <laughs> oh, my poor nose, it burns! Suddenly, the door to the smelly mill oh, opens, wow. and out steps a ridiculously buff man with platinum blonde <laughs> hair. Are you? Oh, my dearest Belle of the farm, is that you? Have you finally come to your senses? The appraiser remains keeled over in pain, complaining of the burning. Yes, my sweet, you have finally noticed the burning passion between us. It's hot, isn't it? The appraiser rubs her watering eyes and continues to groan. The swole man reaches into the unnecessarily wide v-neck opening of his tight black leather onesie and pulls out a lacy pink handkerchief. 
He dangles it near her face as he looks up to the sky. <laughs> oh, my cry, my sweet field flower. Finally, you have realized I am the worthiest crop for your <laughs> hands to harvest this year. Oh my God. She reaches oh my God. for the handkerchief, but grimaces and instead reaches into her own pack for a cloth. She wipes her eyes and nose and just sits there. Eventually, she stands up straight and regains her composure. She then has a chance to observe the bulging man and her bug-eyed expression immediately returns. Bulging man. She looks up and she sees his mm. hair. It is shiny, much too shiny, and slipped down over one side of his head. She keeps following it like a forbidden journey for her eyes. The platinum blonde <laughs> hair is styled into a long drill, spiraling all the way down to his ankle. She reaches the end and just stares at the ground below the hair drill. Huh? What? Oh, you're just another villager. You can't make weird noises outside someone's door. People might think you're a weirdo. Anyways, I am the Alchemist Angel of Eternic. I assume you are here to buy my famous beauty elixirs, right? Well, come on inside. But don't touch anything. To keep my potions pure, I keep high sanitary standards. Can you wipe your face, please, before you come in? Before the appraiser can even introduce herself, the Alchemist squeezes back into his mill. She ties her cloth around her face to cover her nose and follows. Inside, the alchemist is sitting on a jeweled round ottoman. With one hand, he grips a long wooden spoon, stirring the bubbling contents of a large cauldron. And with the other, he touches his face while turning towards an ornate mirror on the wall. The appraiser decides to just stand near the door. I, I am looking for... Yes, yes, I know. You want a beauty elixir. Max strength, I'm sure. Well, you're out of luck. You see, lately, my potions all end up with impurities. <laughs> a actually, no, I... Even the slightest contamination can ruin a potion's effect. And I would never sell anything less than a perfect product. No, Missy, no way. As the alchemist goes on, the appraiser begins to notice his hair drill is dipping into the cauldron as he talks. Um, hey, you're holding my standards too high? Missing out on business? No, the Alchemist Angel of Eternic has a reputation to uphold. No, y you need to look at the bigger picture. I am. If I don't pursue perfection, then I would not be the buffet of manliness <laughs> that only the sweet farmer is worthy of. Th that That's not what, not what you're here to talk about, <clears throat> right? All you care about is shallow beauty. Your hair... You just don't see what's going on here at all, do you, Missy? The appraiser pulls out the infused shield and slams it over the cauldron and yells, Drill! Ah, uh, weirdo! <gasps> you are a genius! Suddenly, the alchemist pulls out a hand drill from his onesie and begins drilling a hole right through the infused shield. The appraiser watches in horror once again. Guide. <laughs> this is perfect. The ether effect will protect my cauldron from contaminants and the hole is big enough for the spoon. Lovely. My day is saved. The angels sing. You, Missy, you want that industrial strength beauty elixir, don't you? Well, okay, do me a favor. Lovely, my day is safe. Take this potion here and give it to the most beautiful citizen of Eternic. You know who I'm talking about, right? Tell them it's a gift from the alchemist angel. The appraiser checks the bottle. It reads, Angel Sweat in Silver Ink. <laughs> yeah. Make sure they drink every <laughs> last drop. What's that look for? Oh, don't worry. I mixed my essence into it, so they will only fall in love with my scent, not you. Real love potions don't work with sight, you weirdo. That is disgusting. Uh, 
That is disgusting. Very. That's the one. I want to hear you. 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 While she is still staring at the ruined shield. My friends, please replace the love potion in the chest with the infused shield. The appraiser decides not to ask anything and leave forever. She reviews all the places she can explore. Let's see. I don't know why. I just think Hans and Franz. Right here, to my front. May I call on you? Uh, sure. Tell me, where will the appraiser explore next? Uh, what were the options left again? Doesn't matter. Oh, sure. uh, how about the, the great tree? <laughs> ah. The giant tree, you say? Yes. Well... The Encephalon has observed your choices, <laughs> travelers. However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. <laughs> Thus, the story continues. <laughs> yes, Poopsie, I do hear that singing. Let's go find out where that's coming from. Travelers, this way. That's what I heard as well. So, uh, nobody official, uh, <laughs> what? Oh, so I not working. Did you just say Sheen.OS is not working? I wonder if the Encephalon is going to be Yeah. Sheen.OS? No. Oh, well, uh, um, I would say Sheen.Pi Sheen Sheen is not working. Imagine if we shotgun a... Weird if the Encephalon started messing with Taurus behind me. You can try it at the bar. Just shotgun it? Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I will say, if you haven't tried it, Sheen. it is a is, is unresponsive. Angel Sweat shotguns for everyone. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 the bar. Someone tells me that things are going to go horribly wrong at the bar. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Get Angel your keys ready. Me, man. Don't bar, like I'm not getting crack. A drink of it. Ayo, ayo. So do you remember that time with the painter? We were doing squad. Oh yes, right at the mech fight. My friends, mercy. Ah yes, one of my favorite parts. Uh, Hello? I am inside the tree. Hello? I am under the water. Please help me. Hello? I am big rat. Big rat. I am inside of the cellulose. Stay or something. Is this a mating ritual? My business. Okay, who has the potion? Because we're gonna have to get ready to do. Uh... What? I think whoever yeah, took it yeah, just drank it. Oh, it's right here. It has damage. Okay, yep, the smell was definitely the potion. It's not as bad, but I'm gonna. Traveler, welcome to Singer's Hill. The story continues. The appraiser stands still, lowers her eyes, and listens. The melody fades in and out. She wears an uncertain expression as she looks at her surroundings, her eyes still lowered in thought. She realizes the sound is not in the air, but in her mind. Suddenly, all 
goes silent. She hears nothing but her footsteps as she walks. She gets closer to... Humming? A man familiar stands alone, overlooking the village. Clenched to my heart in the blue of night. Torn by this pain, I paint your name in sound. And the girl of the dawn with eyes of blue and angel's wings. The songs of the season are her only crown. He turns around and has a confused look but soon changes to a warm smile as he tilts his head slightly. That's, that's a beautiful song. Where did you learn it? I'm not sure. Where did you learn those words? From, from a memory of, uh, standing here singing to you. A memory of me. But we haven't met. How would you have a memory of something you never did? I'm not sure. This, this song, uh... Who are you? I can't taste your ether at all. Oh, you can taste a person's ether? That's incredible. But I don't have any. I'm not a ghost. I'm an artisan. I work here in Eternic Village. You... Hmm. You're a traveler, aren't you? Yes. I'm a traveling appraiser by trade and trader by appraisal. I'm here looking for an e... Um... Why are you smiling so wide? <laughs> I... I don't know. I feel relieved. Like I... Just learned an old friend is doing well for themselves. Uh, sounds really weird, doesn't it? The appraiser finally breaks eye contact with the artisan and stares down at the village. Not the strangest thing I've heard today. Not at all. Perhaps we knew each other in another story. The artisan joins her, observing the busy village below. Another story, huh? So, how do we know if we are the main characters of this story? I guess, I guess that is up to whoever is writing our lines. We are at the mercy of the great script in the sky. Uh, what if we don't want to say our lines, though? What if, what if we want to be free? Where would our wills exist, if not in the lines describing them? Our wills... in the mind of the reader, I suppose. Wait, is this how you normally talk with people you only just met? The same question can be asked of you right now. Well, okay, before this conversation gets any weirder, I'm on a quest, Mr. Artisan. There is an ether crystal in this village. I can taste it. Do you know where I would find it? Oh, an ether crystal. It's right near us, actually. There is a knight visiting from the Desert Kingdom. Look over there by the time tree. He's holding it during his prayers. I don't think he's moved in several hours, though. Oh, finally! It's... it's beautiful. Wait, how long have you been here humming? Ah, uh, oh, I should get back to my shop. I'm behind on all the engraving orders I have. Here, take this as a memento of our... weird conversation. 
Oh, this looks like a rare herb. I don't have anything. Oh, yes. Oh, here. I, I was told to give this potion to the most attractive person in Eternic. Wait. Is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Is this from the Alchemist Angel? I'm sorry, I don't want to touch it. Please, just keep it away from me. I don't want to get poisoned. I don't want to die. You could just, I don't know, ask me on a date, you know? The appraiser grabs back the love potion and pours it into the grass, which promptly wilts and dies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was toxic. Uh, just keep the pretty bottle. Anyway, yes, I want to learn more about engraving. Let's meet again this afternoon. So, so it's a date. The artisan smiles and agrees. The appraiser watches as he disappears into the busy market below. My friends, please replace the rare herb in this chest with the love potion we carry. She then reviews all the places she can explore. <laughs> ah, let's see. Dragon's 24th flame, may I call on you? Sure. Dragons, tell me, where will the appraiser explore next? I still kind of want to go to this pumpkin patch. Hmm. Pumpkin patch, you say? <laughs> well, the Encephalon has observed your choices, traveler. <laughs> <laughs> However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recording. <laughs> Thus, the story continues. Why are you trying to kill me? In the first place? <laughs> I thought it was going to be right, actually. Oh, you gave me that right. <laughs> I heard I know the pumpkins yet. That's what Sadly. I heard. <laughs> ah, dragons. Yes, Windmill Hill. Excellent choice. <laughs> Were any of you able to count how many windmills are in this village? I'm still waiting on that number. Anyways, um, friends, this way. A lot. There are at least three. I'm pretty confident there's at least three. <laughs> I've counted seven. Well, I'm, pretty sure this is safe. I'm not wrong, aren't I? Well, well no, but there's five here. Here. As I least counted. Okay. More, more precise count, but larger margin for error. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't take the place as a odd number area. I'm, a I'm the creature of the grain breath. maze. Don't get into the grain or you will die. I oh my. The grain is quite the colorful crew, I'll say. Wait, what? Okay. Indeed. Hmm. Well, at least there's no sign of chaos anywhere. I. Yeah. Seven or twelve. You know. Imagine running in front of the tour guide. We couldn't be me. He's nowhere to go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I miss all the conversations by doing that. Even more now that the yeah. Resi 4 remake is coming out. <laughs> Oh, it's this man with mm -hmm. the tree one. Oh, dude. Any more Every time I crash and I come back, I like to see people are everywhere. <laughs> you there, at the back of the class. The story continues. I didn't realize we were in a classroom. The wind picks up, yeah. swirling through the market square. The appraiser walks toward the hill, looking up at the windmills in Eternic as she passes. She starts to count them, but gets distracted by the whistle of the breeze. She hums along with it, forming a little tune that she times to her trots and skips. An old farmhand smiles and waves as they see her humming and twirling through the breezy fields. When the appraiser reaches a hill of windmills, she turns and bows to her single audience member. She sees them laugh before she turns and goes up the hill. There is bread and butter next to a rocking chair near the front door. 
Just then, the old farmhand approaches the mill and sits in the rocking chair. Peanut butter. Welcome to Windmill Hill, friends. Thank you for the mighty fine performance earlier. I'm the miller of the hill. Are you here to buy some flour? Thank you kindly, but no. I'm a traveling appraiser and merchant. I'm looking to purchase an ether crystal. Would you know where to find one around these parts? An ether crystal? Well, friend, that brings me back. There was one here in Eternit years ago. During the good old days when when I was working in the market, not out here. It sounds like you remember it fondly. Is there a story surrounding it? I held the strange thing in my hands, looked right into it, I remember. It was like I could see my past and future memories at the same time. But the people walking around in there, I think they noticed... Anyways, I auctioned the crystal off to a serious-looking man from the Grey City. I'm afraid he left after, but he did pay me a fortune for it. You see, that auction was the best day of my life. I proposed to my rosy cheeks, and I opened this mill right after. I would have never stood my ground on that stage without her. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. You probably aren't interested in an old man's story. Sir, you took the time to stop your field work and speak with me. Please, tell me the story. I would like to... A little, I would like to know a little history about this village. Well, back then I worked in the auction house gathering the market excess each season. My dream was to run the yearly grand auction, but I was too darn nervous to speak in front of unfamiliar folk. That was until the bakery girl started helping me. She would set little bread loaves of all types propped up in the auction house chairs. She even made little faces on them out of sweets. She had me practice speaking every week to an audience of bread folk. When the day came for me to do my first auction with the real audience, well, I was on stage staring at her in the front row. Then, Miss, they, they placed that fancy crystal on the table next to me. And I froze looking at it. So many people were watching. I just couldn't get a word out. It was embarrassingly quiet. But you know what? You know what that bakery girl did? She stood right up, walked on stage, right next to me, and held my hand. I was so nervous, I didn't even turn to look at her. She got up on her tippy toes. And you know what, miss? Everyone watched as the prettiest girl in the village gave me my first kiss. Right on the cheek. You betcha I turned to look at her and her rosy cheeks then. That was all I needed. I, I gave the gosh darn best auction this side of the Western Lush Mountains. I owe who I am today, thanks to her. I just wish there was more I could do for her and her bakery. Your dear rosy cheek sounds like the warmest person. <laughs> Thank you for telling me your history. Hmm. She loves using rare ingredients to bake new kinds of bread, right? She told me that herself. How about this exotic-looking herb? Goodness gracious, miss. That's a torpedo toe. They are only found in the sand cabins under the Great Desert. How'd you get that? Well, it, it would be perfect for my rosy cheeks. L let's see. Hold on a minute. Oh, here it is. This here's a magic staff. I was saving it for the Harvest Inn auction. I, if you think it's worth a fair trade, I'll gladly take that torpedo toe off your hands. The appraiser immediately senses powerful ether within the magic staff. She agrees to the trade, making the miller overjoyed. She says goodbye, and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, please swap our items with the item in the chest. <laughs> now then, nice let's thing. see. Dark Star Gemini, may I call on you? Sure. 
Tell me, Dark Star, where will the appraiser explore next? Keep hearing people talking about the pumpkin patch. <laughs> the pumpkin patch, you it say? Is the right one. Oh God! Well then, here, take this. It is. I think I'm dying. We are oh, in God, for my computer's crashing again. a treat, my friends. Uh -oh. Let's walk across mm -hmm. this lovely village. This way. Enjoy the breeze right. and the sunny day. That you pick right this time. I was enjoying it. I'm dying. Boing. I had two cookies today, and apparently they both had 45% of my daily value saturated fat. And like, a hundred. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die of a heart attack. There's also a lot of sugar in them, so... I know that feeling. <laughs> when you read up on all that stuff. I'm probably over like 300 percent. I want bread. Well, I don't really eat much sugar. I just try and eat bread. Uh, I also had a burger today, so... My salt's probably through the roof as well. Did you have a pizza? Did you say moon bread? Salty is a League of Legends player, you are. Salty. I need to get more water. That's the best. From, like, you know, certain blasts and attacks and all that such when dealing with enemies. You don't want to see Juno being salty. Finally. Infamous, I'm in at. Oh. Delectable. That kind of charm. We see you at the store. I feel like a nibble. Oh, I wanted to put it on my head. Ooh, it's a juicy! It's like a mushroom. Alright, who is the staff? With a pumpkin hat. Travelers, the story continues. <clears throat> the market is rich with the smell of spices. <clears throat> she sees a great many raw and prepared groceries from a fresh harvest as she walks. One thing stands out, though. There are pumpkins all over, and every single one she spots is infused with a bizarre ether combination. She was trying to count each pumpkin, but lost track when she tasted the air around one of them up close. This is some... this is some advanced magic. Definitely not the work of an average infuser. She walks the street, leading to the pumpkin patch to investigate the source. There, she finds a man lying on the ground, holding a pumpkin up close to his face. Listen, I know you're in there. Come out. Speak to me, please. Anything. Give me a sign. <laughs> um, sir? I already pumped you full of my love. Is it more water you need? You get plenty of sunshine. What else is there? Excuse me, are you the one responsible for infusing all of these pumpkins? Oh, sorry. I didn't see it there. I was just talking to my vegetables here. It helps them grow. <laughs> uh, actually, pumpkins are a fruit. Uh, yes. I am responsible for all those expertly infused pumpkins. I'm, I'm the great pumpkin ear of Eternic, and soon to be the greatest vegetable age in all the world. Pumpkins are a fruit, uh, but, well, being a great mage, you must know about an ether crystal. Yes, I just need to find a way to infuse ether of opposite emotions at once. Normally, you can only do a few that are adjacent to each other on a known spectrum. If only there was some sort of tool that could hold a dispersing charge. A tool that could hold a charge of ether? Mm. You mean, 
You mean like this heavily infused magic staff? I taste about 12 ether flavors packed in here. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I need. My vegetables will no longer be just food. The villagers will no longer call me crazy. I'll be famous. <laughs> Pumpkins are... Uh, okay, listen. That is... You'll be famous if I give it to you. Do you have anything to trade, Mr. Pumpkineer? Oh, all right. Here, take my finest infused pumpkin. One bite and your mind will embark on a thrilling adventure of the senses. It's not the one I made. It's not the one I made. I don't think it's a fair trade. Tell me, Pumpkineer, if you succeed in whatever you are working on, what will you do next? Mm, well, I will use my creations to bring joy to Eternic. The villagers are all so kind. Even though they laugh at me, they still buy up all my pumpkins every har harvest. They even invite me to their family dinners and parties. This place is my family. Oh, promise you will do that. Take care of all the villagers here as family, and you got yourself a deal, Mr. Pumpkineer. My friends, please do not touch the chest, and instead take one of the pumpkins out of the patch. Now, oh, give really the magic staff to the Pumpkineer. The Pumpkineer takes the staff, agrees to the deal, and before the appraiser can ask him anything else, he runs off, chatting to a pumpkin in hand. Forgot the pumpkin. <laughs> well, these are delicious vegetables. <laughs> I mean fruits. My friends, the appraiser reviews all the places she can explore. Let's see. I want to say it's farmhouse next. That's the only one I can think of. Yeah, I think there's only Zimerons, one more place to go. May I call on you? Two. Huh. Tell me, where will the appraiser explore next? Isn't one of the options left a tree? I believe we have the big Apologies. tree Apologies. Ah, big tree, you said. I see. Yeah, I, I didn't say, I was, I was just... I was the just Encephalon has observed your choices, <laughs> travelers. However, it will not allow any deviations <laughs> from the memetic recordings. Thus, the yeah. story continues. Ah, oh, the farmhouse is an husband. excellent choice. Oh, that's right. Farmhouse. <laughs> right, Dad. I think Iron was actually asking about yeah, what was left. 50, I was 50. trying to remind him of one of the options. I was like, yeah, because I figured the pumpkin farmhouse. Oh, okay, so... I um, remember the big thing. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. All right, I, I didn't take someone's um, choice. Yay. I have a request. While we make our way back across the path we've already walked several times, Instead, this time, please, dance your greatest jig as we walk. Oh. Uh, I don't have full body. Wait, my people uh, are so I guess. I decide. I decide. <laughs> this hammer oh, doesn't do the that. I That's more of the guy that makes oh, people dance. Hold on. How do you Hold on. People I can turn off locomotion. I'll just sway a little. How about that? I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make people dance? Yes, I am. Hey, this pumpkin is oh, really good. Make it all the way to the end. They won't tell me. You got full body. Drink some water, pal. My, I'm laying on the floor with my legs propped up. Yeah. On now, my if only we, uh, if only we had the chance to, I wanted to try and turn this into pumpkin pie. I'm like I cannot get also, water. Also, why hasn't anyone position. counted any of the windmills yet, like I did? All right. Mm. Well, because I don't think I can right handle that count. I'm lazy. I agree. I do believe that there's ten windmills. It's <laughs> not ten. There's twelve of them. You jackal, oh. count them correctly. Oh, oh I can go through this wall. Other oh. people in here. Yeah. I can see it everywhere I want. <laughs> I love that function. Sure. It's great. Uh. Oh, hey guys. Okay. Well, okay. You can turn off the automation whenever you want. Okay. Come here, just... Come on, have a taste. Okay. It's really delicious. Yep. I know it was... Hello, whoever said hi. Hello. Yeah, well, I was giving you a chance Me. anyway. I mean... 
It was raised by a crazy dude, yeah. but it was actually surprisingly delicious. I don't know if I need ah, I know how. The story continues. The appraiser sees the rolling fields in the distance. She closes her eyes as she walks, tuning her senses to the ether in the air. It is unusually thick in this village. Understanding her unique gift and how to use it took a long time. Ether is an accepted but poorly understood force in this world. It seems it can be best described as the metaphysical energy that makes up a thought. Those thoughts must be attached to an emotion to take an ethereal form. Conjuring emotion without specific thoughts leads to an unusable aura. Thinking about a flame while conjuring anger will light a fire. Creating fire is possible with other emotions, albeit much harder. Through years of practice, the appraiser can now identify which emotions are being used in magic. All through a sense of taste. How many known emotions are there, she wonders. And what would happen if you found a treasure, married true love, and had a baby, all in the same day? Then bake and infuse a pie with all the day's positive ether. The appraiser thinks out loud now. I bet that pie would be super yummy. She snaps back to reality when she sees she has arrived at the farmhouse door. She knocks only once, and it quickly opens. A very attractive farmer stands staring right at her. Is it you, my love? Oh, it's you. Anyways, I thought you were that dashing artisan here to pick me up for our date. How many more days is he gonna make me wait? He knows he needs to let me pay him for his engraving work. Such amazing work he did on my kitchen oven. Nearly burns my food when I think of him. I'll tell you what, he didn't even care when I said I didn't have the money to pay. He just did engraving anyway. I promised him a date for it, though. <laughs> he said maybe later. Well, it has been a many good laters. I'm gonna show up today for our date. Hmm, but I can't do that empty-handed. I need a gift, and it has to be special. Maybe there's something magical I could make for him, too. Uh, uh-huh. I, I think I get what's going on here. Oh, you seem to get my little pred old predicament, do you, huh? I see you brought me one of those fancy ether-infused pumpkins. <laughs> Darling, that is exactly what I need. Now, don't worry, hon. I know you're one of them greed great merchants sniffing around the market. I bet you're looking for the fancy ether crystal that knight is carrying around. Well, trade me that there fancy pumpkin, and I'll tell you how to get that fancy crystal from that fancy pants and knight. My friends, please replace the pumpkin pie in the chest with the infused pumpkin we carry. It looks like bread. <laughs> it does look like bread. It's pie. Thank you kindly, darling. I want it. Oh, just a bit. Oh, oh, that oven is fast. It's pie. All right, yeah, it looks delicious. Now listen. Now listen. While it is still hot, I need you to deliver this year pie to the table for two. I need you. I need time to prepare for my date. I will meet you there soon to honor my part of the deal. Before the appraiser can respond in any way, the attractive farmer slams the door shut. She sighs and then reviews all the places she can explore next. Let's see. Ah, uh, smiles, psycho. May I call on you? Thank you. Tell me, where would you like the appraiser to explore next? Well, the tree is the only place left, so... the tree. 
An excellent choice. Well, my friends, finally it is time to approach that strange giant tree. It seems all of the villagers here keep referring to it as the time tree. Let's see what this is about. This way, friends. Okay, you're not, I'm going to actually trust you to trust you with it because that's clearly not Miles. for us. That's for the date, and I don't want to bite. I don't want to be eating it. Lucky guess. <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Excellent performance, by the way, Chloe. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Could you go by? We're finally gonna get to the great deck. I mean, time tree. <laughs> the Deku tree? That's why I corrected myself. I didn't notice something. I thought you were No, I heard great dick. Oh, it's this. Mm -hmm. it's Same here. <laughs> great Deku. Great <laughs> that is also the word I heard. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I want to make sure I wasn't the only one too. Potato, potato. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Exactly. Stand over here. Do not go in. It's mine. No worries. Even the people look at, they have like a pie or something. Whiskers in my nose. You shall not pass. Do you like to see what I'm holding? That's it. What? <laughs> it's an invisible box. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> Why do you have an invisible box? Looker. Because I have to change the situation. Travelers, the story continues. Oh. The appraiser slowly moves toward the giant tree. She stares up to see how high it towers over the village as she walks. There's a strange, numbing spiciness in the air surrounding the area. Stopping in front of the entrance to the giant tree, she observes a young soldier. He bears the crest of the great desert kingdom across his armor. He leans against the wall of the entrance, scratching at the cracked paint on his armor with his fingernail. Good morning. I see you're a fellow traveler on an adventure all the way from the great desert, are you? The bored-looking soldier slowly blinks. He turns to look toward the giant tree, sighs, then back at the appraiser. Eh, I wish. I'm waiting on a prayer, literally. His holiness of the sword is back there praying to the time tree. I'm just his squire. <sighs> Sworn to follow his every boring order. What's he praying for? To to the giant tree itself? Nah. To the time tree for some crystal or some sh or something. All I know is that they spent me teen <laughs> training every every day for combat, and now I'm stuck with some prude paladin from Nissan. He doesn't drink, he, he doesn't play cards, he doesn't even go out in the evenings. He won't even let me curse. To squire for a knight of the Allied Kingdom is the greatest honor, the King Brothers said. Ah, blast the sand, sure it is. While they go out and fight sandworms, I'm used as a freaking doorman and a pack donkey. <sighs> Sorry. It's quite all right, squire, sir. I'm sure there will be honor in this, this trial you bear. I'd rather be a doorman to the Dazilbad bathrooms. At least I'd see some action there. Sounds like he's going to be a while, and you are overdue for some excitement. I was going to offer this super ether-infused pumpkin pie to the Holy Knight, as thanks for his protection to us in this village, but it will be cold by the time he is finished. Sounds like it would be a waste on his disciplined senses, don't you think? Why don't you have it? I'm sure you would appreciate a mind trip that each bite's going to be. Ha! Blast his butt plate he would if he saw me eating this. Okay, miss. I'll give you the honor of watching the entrance here. I'll go and enjoy this for a bit in the back alley. Be sure not to let anyone through, though. 
the appraiser, happily agrees and hands over the infused pumpkin pie. She waits until the squire is out of sight and then enters the swirling ether field of the time tree. My friends, this way. Mm. So mm. do we just leave the pie behind Dude. or take it with us? These We're chips are so good. Anyway. I suppose you we just leave it behind. Mm. Music making the control. Here, let, let me get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get high. Dear yeah, God, it's the master like sword. Like that. That's more impressive. The, the, the thing <laughs> in the stone is more impressive. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I mean, I that looks better than the dagger, though, but it. still. Clip. <laughs> Standing. Standing in front of the tree is a tall, broad-shouldered knight, armored with silver-worn plates. Hello? Holy Knight of Nissan, have you finished your prayers? The Holy Knight turns around. Why would an oath-sworn knight pray to this strange tree? I, I thought the Church of Nissan did not believe in ether as a source of God's strength. Hmm. You're a clever one, traveler. I am here on a special mission. A mission given personally by the head of the Church and the Desert King Brothers. You see, there is a great evil presence in the southern regions. Our mech forces have detected it as near as the Eva coast. Warped monsters are beginning to wash ashore, all full of dark ether. Is that why you carry an ether crystal? To help guide you to the source? Not exactly. You see, this tree is special. Within its core, ether seems to travel that belongs to both the future and the past. Perhaps even other worlds. This ether crystal acts as a window for me to peer into time. I hope to look to the past to see the source of this evil presence and hopefully find a way to stop it. In my current state, I am not strong enough to confront whatever it is. Hmm. I've heard holy knights from Nissan are masters of light ether attack magic. I can sense it. You have great power, but I sense an imbalance within you. Yes. I've fought the beasts roaming the southern regions. Animals composed only of dark ether should not be able to exist. The imbalance would kill them. Something is very wrong. The only thing effective against them are infused weapons. I also saw a vision inside the crystal. A vision of an unholy force, with a demon at its center. I saw myself in battle, and I saw my sword break before the vision ended. Therefore, I also seek to do what the church would normally forbid. I seek to infuse my weapon. That is why I have come to Eternic. Rumors of great engravers and infusers here are well known. The appraiser stares at the mass of holy blade the knight carries. I believe I can help. I know several experts of both sorts in this village. We would need that ether crystal to make a weapon powerful enough for you. I would also like to study that crystal for my own reasons once we're finished. I would return it to the church afterwards. So, if I help you, and we succeed, may we make a deal? Hmm. You recognized my crest, and I sense honor about you. Please, Miss Appraiser, gather the experts you speak of, and I will wait here. The Appraiser nods, and quickly goes on her way. My friends, let's walk back to the Market Square. This way. Do any of you have tired legs?
I'll go. Funny bean man thing. Boing boing. Oh. Bean boing. Well, um, thank you. Yes. Boing boing and. Sorry. Just a moment, friends, while everyone makes their way over here. <laughs> Alright, I don't have a flying anymore. I can fake it at least. <laughs> the appraiser walks back out to the market square. She thinks back to all the people she has met in Eternic. She needs both an expert engraver and an expert infuser to successfully help the Holy Knight. My friends, the appraiser must make a choice, and so must you. Everyone, listen carefully. If you choose to look for the infuser, please stand next to my fellow tour guide Rendizo. If you choose to look for the engraver, please stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trajim. Make your <laughs> choice. Okay. No, baby. Trajim is the quiz thing? I don't know, this is the first time I've ever seen Rendizo actually excited. I guess I'll join you. You seem like a party animal. I am a party animal. I'm definitely not a party animal. I'm a party animal. I'm a party animal. I think it's kind of like the other side. Fucking charisma is the best dad in the world. You know what I'm saying? Travelers, you have chosen well. Rendizo will now be your new tour guide. Please show him the same respect you showed me, and good luck. Woo! <laughs> Goodbye, yellow cat! I love you! Trajim will be your new Wait. tour guide for the following what? section. Please oh. show Trajim the same respect oh. you showed me, and good luck. And if you don't, you'll have to answer to me. Well, we'll have to answer no. the Trajan story. That's different. Well, that too. All I need to be is a mm -hmm. steep incline and, and take us to that hunky man again. Yeah. Oh. That makes it easy. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, right. my favorite right. pair traveler character. Also, Yellow cat. digging the armor. <laughs> Thank you. Find me a hammer. Why are you doing that? The appraiser remembers the several infusers that live in the village. She thinks of the powerful ether she sensed in the pumpkins, and decides the pumpkinier must be the most skilled infuser here. She wonders if he succeeded in his strange project. She walks quickly to the pumpkin patch. My friends, the story continues. More pumpkins. The appraiser sees the pumpkin ear on the ground, wrestling with what appears to be an animated pumpkin. Stop trying to run away. You're gonna snap your vine. I just want to tell you about all the great things I got planned for you. We're gonna be famous. Let me go. You're not my daddy. You can't decide my future. You're just a weirdo that talks to fruit. I made you, and you are a fruit. Let me go. The apparently sentient jack-o'-lantern escapes the pumpkinier's grasp, snaps its vine, and bounces away. Dang it. Hey, Miss Appraiser, you gotta help me. Please, please bring back my dear jack-o'-lantern. I'll do anything you ask. Please, I beg you. The appraiser accepts the quest. There are six rules that you all must carefully understand for this quest. 
Rule number one. You all must hunt for the sentient jack-o'-lantern today, played by NPC Diarmuid, across all of Eternic Village. Once found, you all must chase and grab the sentient jack-o'-lantern and carry it back to the pumpkin patch. Rule number two. The jack-o'-lantern is allowed to try and escape from your grasp until it is past the pumpkin patch fence. This means the NPC can grab it away from you if you have not put it back in the pumpkin patch. Rule number three. There will be two rounds. The time limit is five minutes for each round. You need to win both rounds to pass the quest. Rule number four. There are a total of 13 of you, I think. All 13 of you must be back inside the pumpkin patch with the jack-o'-lantern before the time runs out or the quest has failed. Rule number five, the jack-o'-lantern is only allowed to hide in places that require no jumping, flying, or swimming to get to. This means no climbing up walls and no swimming in the water. Hiding inside no-clip structures, such as the trees, is allowed, however. Rule number six, you are not allowed to jump or climb. Only the NPC is allowed to jump whenever running away. They are not allowed to climb though, so don't worry. Here's a tip. You may need to resort to hiding the jack-o'-lantern from the NPC since they generally are faster and can grab it back. Are there any questions so far? <laughs> that a hunt began. Oh, time to sit up. I don't think shooting it will help in this situation. Come well on. then. The story Repetition. continues. The pumpkin here right. says that the appraiser should first try speaking to the other pumpkins here to ask where the jack-o'-lantern went. Everyone now, please grab a pumpkin and lay down on the ground and speak to it out loud for 60 seconds. Be sure not to peek at anything except the pumpkin in front of your face. When the time is up, stand and begin searching for the jack-o'-lantern. Okay, ready? Get down and start counting, now! Alright, so, what? Okay, answer me. Alright, Mr. Where's the door? Where did he go? You don't go back. I know you know. I don't think he's so smart. I know sometimes I forget where I am. Other times I break things. And then sometimes it's first one, then the other, which then leads to another thing being broken in the house. One, two, one time I broke my shower head by stepping in slippery stuff. <laughs> Wait, yeah, how see. do I find you? Money's gonna Can we spin these like Beyblades? Uh, I'm not able to get another pumpkin. Okay, Oh, you mean ADHD? Oh, nice summer. Yeah, yeah, we are. Good cup, bad cup. Good. You wanna make uh, it? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Alright. Alright, you two. I have uh, ADHD. Don't tell these people about it. My friend plays by the books, but I'm not. Uh, oh, I'm well oh, off in it. Uh, my hey, wife is bending me. Yeah? Perhaps if you cooperate with us, we'll get you. She's bending me. Nice. Yeah, no. It's okay. time to go um, hunt. If you don't. Hunting. I think I got a feeling. Smash your head, I think. Maybe. I got a feeling. Boys, we've been talking to a pumpkin for more than two minutes, and time is running out. Okay, all right. Just give me a minute. I just fell in cheese. Oh, great. I feel like I might have done a stupid. <laughs> Who is
is speaking on behalf of you. <laughs> That's not how the elves work. Man. <laughs> I said very intelligent, and I meant it. Oh man, are there any oppositions to oh man? We can go inside these trees. Chances are he didn't go far. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Is it this one? No. Mm. Oh god, what the hell huh? happened there? Alright, see maybe this one? Nope. Oh, not in that tree. Aha! Not in this one either. Who good? We found it. Okay. We just have to get back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wait. I know. Ah, I, I shall... Ah. Oh, there ah, they are. There All right, are. you got Perfect. them. I think that might incorporate everyone. We got him. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, go on. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Got we him. got him. I do believe this is everyone. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know. You're good. You're good. Literally the NPC, right? <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, we you passed. Going. The first round. Back on the ground, everyone talk to the pumpkins again. Another 60 second timer. Let's go, round two. Alright, time to right. play Beyblades with more pumpkins. Beyblades? 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 Okay, there you go. Right. Come on, okay, I challenge you to a pumpkin Beyblade battle. Are you literally accusing the pumpkin of heresy? Probably. <laughs> How in the world is the pumpkin heretical? It's whoever's wrist runs out of stamina first. I managed to do it. I Thankfully, I did have an armchair, so it wasn't I, as bad. I don't know how to I'm respond. Sitting on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations <laughs> on sitting on the floor. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, I have no armrest. This could be the case. Alright, pumpkin. I feel like now that you're just combobulated. 
Where would you hide? Because I found no. just over by the And it's time. Over by the Let's get searched. Oh, the five minute timer scene. begins now. Let's go. Let's go. Specifically to a soulmate. But it's better to say goodbye and say the last But not just a simple goodbye. It's the last goodbye. Yeah. Like first. Right? Put your feeling into it. I've been looking for the wrong thing then. <laughs> Shoot. Alright. Oh. Can you believe it? This whole time I was looking for a pumpkin, it was a jackal in and dang it! <laughs> <laughs> There we go, he's here. Wait, what? Wait, where did you even go? Who has the pumpkin? I did. Oh, or I did. Right here. And then I I threw it down like a football. Great job. Great job. I mean, where, where is it? Because it was the new thing. Grunt's holding it. Right here. Did you oh, have a leg like spike count? Oh. So you just stood there. I got a history of getting lost in Walmart. Oh. <laughs> um, but, um... Yeah, everyone's here. All right, then. Mm. And the story continues. The appraiser manages to catch the sentient jack-o'-lantern and brings it back to the pumpkineer. Oh, thank goodness you're okay, Jackie. I thought I lost my... My one and only family. Family? I, I thought it was just your ticket to pain. No, no, of course not, Jackie. You are my family. This village is our family. I, I want you to be a part of it with me. In an emotional embrace, the pumpkineer is united with his creation. He says he will honor his promise to help the appraiser and go to her to the time tree. And with that, follow me to the time tree, friends. We should be first. Yeah. Speed run. It is time to pray. Speed running? Oops, sorry. Steps in. Oh. Let me go to your house, man. No. Oops, wrong avatar. I know where you live, Dibson! Quite. That is the longest character I've ever been. What did you do with PC? 
And a lawn chair. Sorry, I broke your lawn chair, Devin. Yeah, you have a new chair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I broke it. I didn't mean to break your lawn chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you cookies here? What's up? That was the longest coverage I have ever seen. Really? Oh god. Oh god. Uh, you should see some of the stuff, other stuff <coughs> I've done. Okay, alright. Anyways, hi, hello. Got that big stretch. Eh. Travelers, let's wait for the other group here. They should be here in just a little while. I beg of your patience. <laughs> <coughs> Lovely. <laughs> I don't know why you I can't tweet. I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at first, yeah, 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 yeah. the Come idea on. of a Come paradise on. planet yeah, might okay. as well have been yeah, yeah, mental yeah. purgatory towards me. But yeah. I think <laughs> it's, <laughs> in my professional I'm sorry. opinion, I, I just... acceptable. I can't help but think that Meathamski's like nope. 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 rival, like Arch Nemesis, <coughs> you are Meathamski's Arch Nemesis. Yeah, Just... but this <laughs> is a bigger vision. <laughs> well, oh man. Yeah, yeah no, I know. What? Yeah. 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 For his uncle's god. Oh, okay. And they go to play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, alright, I see how oh, was, okay. I was drowning in water. Okay, alright, there you go. There you go. Oh god, thank god, Panda. You're here and you hit me with your backpack. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay, alright, now hold on. Now oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, give me a second, I'm just gonna... Don't worry. I'm fine now. this down here. And, uh, oh. alright. I think it's time to set up camp. Bro. Right. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> Sweet, you got the camp set. <coughs> yeah, I've got camp set. Oh my. Yeah, it's oh, it's a soup. Report, reporting soup. Cell. So we have reporting the soup. soup. Anyone have any good uh, any, anyone have any good law? Paimon? You know, emergency food? Mm -hmm. Oh, we need a menchie for that. Paimon. Oh, 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 wait, shit, hold on. Okay, there we go. We do have a few small creatures that we can use. How many? Okay, what do you mean that? Those? What are those, the small creatures? Eat that one. Or the bunny. Bunnies have been turned into what? food. That's also what? another option. Eat that bunny. Bunny. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend them. Eat the bunny. Uh, bun, bun. Oh, bun, bun. Bun, bun. Bun, bun. No, they're, they're an arch nemesis. Bun, bun. You don't want to eat arch nemesis. Bun, bun. Oh, here. Yeah, no, you think, you think we're joking, we kind of... No. I are all too fat, I wouldn't have spine. Yeah, I don't... I don't have it currently in equivalent to I will but... I got this table. Oh, no, I get it. So good. This one's more to influence the eye. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know I used it usually yeah, for a play doctor uh, oh, yeah, I should not have done that. Uh, the night that Katharina got it, got it. Turn that off. Oh. I almost yeah. crashed yeah. myself by yeah. turning on the mirror. It like mirrored everyone. Greetings, weary travelers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I have wares if you have corn. Uh, give me a second, hold on. Uh, let's go with. Uh... Let me come out clear for uh, me. Hold on. Uh, there. <laughs> All right. And um, what are we putting in? Oh, there we go. Hey. Nice. 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 That'd be very funny if you leave it here and everyone comes back and says, "Hey, this is something new on the map." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Brigitte has... I need nothing. Uh, they've been... Uh, right, okay, uh... No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I, I filled out my med pros. Uh, Give me a... What do you mean? So they were redoing some of the streams that they were doing before. Before they start to need... Bro, I ain't read on nothing. And, uh, these, these stories oh. that they read but, uh, these no, days yeah, are... The so far, Since they already done it, they have. A wonderful they're going to fast through every ending. I'm glad you in enjoyed fact, it. In fact, I actually scare a, a little tearful. Ending. That's why each time Chin yeah. yeah. or Tracy or anyone, anyone asks a question, if someone if I, answers yeah. the We're getting good ending, answer so that is not going to lead to the work out. corresponding oh, outcome they that they want, like the good ending mm -hmm. for this one. Okay. Yeah, and they force the answer there. Well, you can go into the GPS You can check my YouTube because I usually record all of them. So we have different aspects, different questions, different answers for all the other jurors. Yeah, I was just explaining why uh, we are going with forced endings. Why we are not beginning the choices of other people. <laughs> Wonderful. So, uh, how did the uh, pumpkin go? <laughs> first and the artisan has fled the scene. I was told. Oh, well, okay, what the hell? Hey, you have fun rummaging a pumpkin? Yeah, the last question was... I could have a final date. I was the host. I was the we failed. Yes, I could tell that, and I'm not super. Really, I should not volunteer myself so quickly. I think I could get them all back. I did spot it first, and I I didn't make that for like four minutes. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, I've never done that role before. All right. Drive a grey knight. Number five. My friends, your attention, please. Welcome back, and well done. <laughs> For those of you wandering, new to this tour, we are nearing the end. Well then, I will ask the group that followed Trajim. Does the artisan join the appraiser on her way back to the time tree? The artist uh, is what we did off from the date. Sure, yes! Nope. Uh -huh. totally. Yeah, 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 totally. We did not get all of our answers at all. We did not make the artist oh. run away here. <laughs> I see. And the group that followed Rendiz. No. Does the pumpkinier join the appraiser back, back to the time tree? Yes. yes. Most yeah. certainly. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> we're failures. <laughs> bro. I told you it's we're okay, flawless. Okay, it's okay, It's all the fun. It's all the fun of it. I see. I'm very sorry. Well, the Encephalon has observed your choices, travelers. However, it will not allow any deviation from the memetic recordings. Uh. Thus, the story continues. The appraiser returns to the time tree with both the artisan and pumpkinier at her sides. This way, friends. Onward, Ooh. travelers! Huzzah! <laughs> he totally <laughs> rolled! <laughs> Huzzah! He totally did not. We said all totally the right words. Totally did not fail at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, no absolutely. It's <laughs> oh. Oh, That was close. I mean, there was water down there, but still. This is mine. This is mine. Go away. Go. That one. Or queen. This is mine. Uh, <laughs> that's not I'm higher than you, Juicy. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh boy, I'm oh, no. hitting the water. The story continues. At this time, travelers, kindly open your menu and turn off world music. 
I repeat, kindly at this time, turn off world music. Mm. <coughs> Thank you. What? what? <laughs> Tom the Holy Knight so notices and welcomes them all with a serious face. This person here is the Pumpkineer. He is a powerful infuser and ether mage, strongest in the land. And this person here is the artisan. He is an expert engraver and master artist. Excellent. Artisan, sir. Artisan, sir, Mr. Pumpkinier, I trust... I put my trust in you both. I trust the appraiser has told you the important nature of the task at hand. Good. Well, let's get to work. Miss Appraiser, please hold the ether crystal. I must enter into prayer. The Holy Knight hands the Appraiser the ether crystal. And for the first time, she sees it up close. It is a dark purple color. She immediately has trouble looking away from it. Her mind seeming to forget her limbs. What sort of prayer should I do while they work? One of God's temperance, one of God's courage. No, n not to God. You are willing to try something not normally done by the Nissan sect, right? So instead, pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings. The Holy Knight quickly changes his expression to one of disbelief. You recite the words of the old teachings, teachings done away with, almost forgotten. Who are you? The appraiser is not listening. Now, she's focused on the purple crystal in her hands. The artisan, now holding the holy sword, ask if he may begin. The knight of Nissan nods. The artisan works with quick, sharp movements. His eyes close every few moments as his hands stop moving. Each time this happens, his engraving tool glows bright with heat ether. The Holy Knight watches between prayer verses and thinks to himself that this man works truly like an artist, treating his blade as a delicate tapestry. Time passes in silence. Finally, the artisan is finished. <coughs> the markings are strong, ready to be infused. The Holy Knight observes and quietly tells the Pumpkineer it is now his time to infuse the markings on the blade. The Pumpkineer takes the ether crystal from the unresponsive appraiser, grips it with one hand while placing the other on the holy sword. He stares at the time tree for a moment and furrows his brow in confusion. He gives a dismi dismissive expression and closes his eyes. Now off to the side, the artisan watches silently. After a while, he turns to look at the appraiser. His hands twitch. A slow wind begins to build. The artisan and the appraiser trade glances, mutually wondering why this feels so tense. Again, they nervously look to the crystal. Its purple surface is reflected in the appraiser's eyes, its dark core growing more opaque. Appearing to her, a scene plays within. There, a massive airship flies over a sky filled with fire. 
flashes of light are bursting in the air all round the vessel. Below, a man stands on a cobblestone street, surrounded with people screaming and running in terror. Ignoring the panic, the man watches the airship in the sky. He watches it collide with a structure. A structure not connected to the ground, yet filling the entire horizon. The man winces in pain and anger as an ignited sky is reflected in his eyes. The man in the scene, now standing under a firestorm of falling wreckage, slowly turns his head toward... Mr. Preza, is everything all right? Ah, it seems we are finished. What fine work. Hand me the blade. Ah, yes, what power. I can understand why my oaths were written as they are. Though I have broken those oaths, I will not break another. Mr. Preza, please take this strange crystal so I may retain some honor. Well, then, please excuse my abrupt departure, but I must seek out my squire and journey to the southern regions. As the holy knight unceremoniously walks away, the abraser is somewhat stunned, and with a blank expression places the crystal in her backpack. She stares toward the tree as the pumpkineer quietly stands and bids farewell to the remaining two. You saw it, didn't you? I did. Can we go somewhere else to talk? Somewhere away from this tree? With the ether crystal now in her possession, the appraised follows the artisan to his village home. Travelers, this way. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I'm just okay. to me anyway. Ooh. <laughs> box, box. Boing, boing. Box, box. Oh, oh no, no. Again. my legs broke for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you were breaking all over the place up there for a sec. He's yeah, wearing gilded yeah, plate armor it. and has a sword it's sheathed I'm sort of drawing. Again. The boy has markers on the chest as well. So very sick can. But he feels right when he holds it. Is it candy? Yeah, it's candy. Yes, I got it, Sharky. I grabbed a snack for the road. It's probably not the actual reason, though. Honestly, I could go for a grilled cheese right now with some tomato soup. Oh, robotic, you're here. Oh, oh, you you I'm, I'm, hungry. Open. I'm so hungry, please. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> well, I better crack them open. We got a can right here, so... <laughs> I have a candle. Is there any tomato soup running around here? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh there he is. <laughs> I see him. Yeah, go ahead and crack them open and then you can have some grilled cheese with them. I mean, it says it's good on the can. <laughs> you will not get this in tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there flying tomato? You can't escape me. Mm. Oh? <laughs> that was good. The story. <laughs> Continues. The artisan opens the door and welcomes her in. She looks around, noticing the many engraving tools and sculptures displayed. She then notices a set of papers on a table with familiar sketch designs. She takes one of the papers and finds a seat. These are the plans for the engravings you do. When they are drawn like this in a line, it almost looks like a line of text. Why do you think engravings allow ether to be infused into things? Are they symbols from some sort of language? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. They're more like drawings to me, but that thought has crossed my mind. The pumpkineer is able to use the shadows of a lit jack-o'-lantern as a second set of engravings in light. This somehow allows consciousness to exert 
emerge in pumpkins. I suspect it's like giving lines to the ether he infuses inside. Hmm. Now that I think about it, that's likely why he couldn't control it. It was an expression of his inner self, manifested, that he likely does not yet understand. Is your work any different? You, your sculptures here are just expressions of yourself. If they could talk, they might say something you don't know about yourself as well. I suppose, but I don't do infusing work. Didn't you want to talk about that vision? Yes. Actually, I think, I think this is how the crystal gave us a vision. What? I'm not following. I wonder if you could create a piece of art that you could interact with. Like a song that holds specific memories. A painting that holds a single person's ether. Or even a story that you can live inside. I don't see how any of that is connected to the question that you asked. To me, ether is just lingering emotions in the air. I express myself through art. Infusing art would just cause those emotions you put in to linger. Then, how about you make a sculpture of me? I want to see if you are right, and, and I want to test something. I don't have the necessary stock of marble. I always run out by the time harvest starts. The appraiser looks around and sees an untouched block of grey marble by the window. I see a block right there. <sighs> yes, there is that. But a sculpture would take far too long. You have to continue on your journey soon, don't you? Then, how about a painting? That shouldn't take that long, right? Oh, a painting. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I painted. I don't think I have many pigments. Specifically, the one I used for your hair is from a flower not found in this region, so I... The artisan stops and realizes what he said. He looks at the appraiser. Her expression is of a comforting smile, eyes motioning for him to look behind. There, in the corner, by the opposite window, is a blank canvas and several buckets of paint. You... you know that those weren't there a moment ago, don't you? I didn't do it this time. This time it was you. What else are we not telling each other, Mr. Artisan? You know exactly what's going on here, don't you? It, it's like... I remember something, but it hasn't happened yet. And then I imagine a different outcome. The necessary changes, suddenly are there for that future to become real. You've been playing dumb about several things. You knew that I knew you were coming to attorney. The appraiser nods. And you knew that I know that I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me so you can finish the painting, right? If, if, if you are living with this strange gift, how are you so well? Don't you feel like you are not in control? Why aren't you disturbed by all of this? 
The crystals. They hold the clues to it all. To other worlds, each one gives a vision to a place I know, but I've never been to. It's like pieces of a puzzle. My past seems to change with this power we... We both share, and I have no way of going back to see what was real. But the visions in the crystals, they are real. I know this now because we were near that tree. It must be a natural ether amplifier. Wait. They show a past that we can't rewrite with this power. How do you know? Have you tested this? I have. No matter how much I change my past, the memory of my vision remains. The crystals are like a rendezvous of other worlds and uncertain fate. That was not the first vision I saw in a crystal. And just like the first time, I could taste the ether of many people around us. However, thanks to that tree, this time I could feel that they are in fact watching us. I don't think we are alone, Mr. Artisan. The two talk for a long while. The evening approaches, and the artisan walks with the appraiser to see her out of the village. My friends, the grand finale awaits this way. All right. Woo! Oh, uh, we have a painter first, good. and then people would freak out. It's been a long so, one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're doing all the tours. I'm walking Kong backwards. Kong order, like that would probably oh. take quite a while before we'd get here. Well, we're doing the painter yeah. after the price. Have yeah. we have only my second that? one. Oh. Oh. Wow, we're bringing some shirts. Keep your quiet and sleep. Hey, man, does somebody have the invisible box with them? <laughs> I just have like, no idea where that flying is. Through you. I know where uh, somebody put it. I just don't know if somebody else grabbed it. <laughs> I lost it when I picked it up. After that, I have no idea where it went. I carried it with us to the town square, and then me and uh, Tusi and User were passing it back and forth. Then User put it over in a corner. Yeah, I have no idea if anyone found it after that. Yeah, that was the last place I saw it. Excuse me. Your excuse. I excuse him. Do you think maybe we should tell like the map creator that there was an invisible asset? One last look to this beautiful village. The Thunderhawk is beyond that mountain. Maybe. Are we there yet? Yeah, I'm desyncing again. <laughs> oh gosh, don't, don't <laughs> Are we there, there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? This is the last time you'll see this beautiful place for a long time. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. No. Not unless you bookmark it. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I'm fairly confident that is wood. Well, this is the last time we'll see this place. Uh, maybe it was plastic made to look like wood. I'm not true they have seen plaster <coughs> are you in desktop nope. coffee truly uh, really, why would they do that when they have such oh, good really going in there no, is that the guy in there a beautiful view oh no 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 okay no yeah. crap oh that yet oh dear oh. oh hey i've been getting better at catching oh. myself yeah. yes. maybe maybe you don't even need those match yeah, boxes yeah sit down again Probably could still Probably take still should because I've been only one a few times and my luck usually runs out. <laughs> yes. The dice give and the dice take. Travelers, the story concludes. Please ensure your world music is still turned off. Now, late evening. At the outskirts of Eternic, the appraiser stops and looks at the darkening sky, noticing a red moon rising on the horizon. Well, where will you go next? And why don't you travel during the day instead? I... 
I can't sleep near that tree. And why stay here? No one ever comes here anymore. What? What do you mean? This is a common place of trade. What about the vision of the man in the crystal? We didn't see what happened to him. Let's have a look at it again for a clue. The artisan gives a worried expression, but the appraiser ignores and takes the purple crystal out of her pack. She looks into one of the sides of its flat surface, searching. The artisan cautiously moves closer to observe. The glare of the sunset quickly vanishes, and within the crystal, he sees a dimly lit cathedral. The appraiser sees a sunlit room. There is a canvas and a woman dressed in religious garb, sitting with her back turned. A familiar person paints on the canvas, smiling and glancing at the seated woman. The artisan <clears throat> sees a man frantically making his way across the cathedral balcony. The man looks to the left as he rushes, and the artisan feels a twinge of pain in his mind, causing him to look away from the crystal. The appraiser struggles to see the canvas and the woman's face. So she turns the crystal in her hands to look through another side. And there, through the surface, the room is now empty, the canvas gone. The woman, gone. The portrait hung on the wall. And the man that was painting, now staring through the surface, directly at the appraiser. His face distorts as he speaks. So... The appraiser grips the crystal in her hands, paralyzed, unable to move. Blossom, O oh fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden powers. The artisan realizes something is very wrong. He rushes to grab the crystal away, but stops when it begins to float out of her hands. Grant unto thee the power of the glorious titan of destruction. Just then, a bolt of ether ignites between the crystal and the appraiser. Her arms drop, the crystal now suspended by dark lightning arcs. Abel, you're... She falls unconscious, now suspended in the air. My friends... This is it. The appraiser is moments away from death, but the artisan hears you. He reaches for the appraiser's merchant pack. Then, with eyes closed, he thrusts his hand inside, grappling probability itself, wishing for anything that will stop the demon of the crystal. Travelers, what does the artisan wish for? You have 60 seconds to decide. He got Geocopter! Mm. Friends that saw the good ending of the pilot. <laughs> what? <laughs> we give the appraiser, or we give the artisan, the orange ether Ooh. crystal. Diamond cuts a diamond. Mm. Listen yeah. to the male's man! Yeah. Yeah. Listen okay. to him. We're doing the orange Praise ether crystal. Orange ether crystal. Oh, my <laughs> 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 Huh. Okay. No, 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 we got it. No, we're talking about another the one. That's floating. <laughs> the purple one's the one that's floating right now. Yes. Mm. Well, dark yes. purple. So why can't... Orange is the yeah. one that we want to get. Oh, yeah, sorry, a different shade of purple. <laughs> yeah. Just... I'm grabbing an orange mm. crystal out, so... That is final. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. I take this from a past I mean, story. We can all... Orange. We could say something different. Yeah, the the recent story, but yeah. anything doesn't let us change it. I don't know anything about the story. I don't know anything about the story. I don't know anything about the story. User, don't sleep. You don't need it. Five. Okay. Oh. You can sleep. 
Three, two, one. <laughs> Traveler's time has expired, and one of you must tell me what the artisan pulls from the appraiser's merchant box. Granny from Tuts, the choice is yours. Give me that, give me that orange <laughs> ether crystal, man. <laughs> Thanks, Granny. You always know best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it worked. Listen to your elders, kids. The oh, this is okay. Hearing thoughts as if they are being read to him. He knows what should be in her bag. He wishes for it to make sense because it must. He feels in his hand a new crystal. And pulling it out, he sees it. Shimmering orange. Hope. All of the thoughts say to him. Gripping the orange crystal with both hands, he quickly lunges to block the bolt of dark ether. The demon roars in anger as the appraiser drops to the ground. Ah, foolish mortal. You know not what you do. You're right, I don't. The purple crystal ignites with dark fire, and the ether bolt grows, pushing the orange crystal back as the artisan struggles to hold it steady. Uh, I... Uh, I may not know what you are, uh, but I know what I'm doing. I'm not letting you win. Uh, I have hope! I will take it back from your undeserving hands. I will undo the evil manipulations of my world. The life you live is mine! The purple crystal's black flames grow violent, reaching near the artisan's face, burning his hands. You won't take anything. You are not supposed to be here. The appraiser returns to the fight. She grabs the orange crystal together with the artisan. Her eyes are determined and full of hope. Ah, how can you be content as prisoners in this limited domain? You are controlled by fools who see themselves as gods. Our existence, a mere plaything to them. They would kill us if it so pleased them. Isn't that right? Trade him. That's enough. I am grateful to be given this world by whoever. To create such a beautiful chance for us to live can only make them my friends. I won't let you hurt them, us, or anyone. Multiple bright white bolts of ether erupt from the orange crystal, quickly overpowering the dark fire. The light ether shines brighter and brighter, engulfing the dark crystal. Ah, it matters not where you foolish gods hide them. I will find a way into every world you create. Mm -hmm. You have no control over me with your words. I've already circumvented your selfish influences. Not even the foolish machinations of Rendizo and his associate will be able to stop me. Yes, eventually I will kill them both, and I will find a way to the top. I will destroy your world from above! That no good. Abel, this is not your story. <laughs> no, Sophia, it is not. But we will meet again. In my story. Soon. For a brief moment, the appraiser gives an expression first of surprise, then one of guilt. We will. I know we will. The bright glow of the orange crystal begins to fade, and the world comes back into view. 
The artisan pulls back in surprise, looking around. The village of Eternic is gone. There is nothing but rocks and water. There are ruins scattered about, looking to be many, many years old. I'll just yell. What? what? Where is it? Where did the village go? Where are we? What's going on? Razor at first does not respond. She is motionless, looking at the broken remains of the purple crystal on the ground with sad eyes. She watches as the color drains from the shards, dissolving into the ground. The Legend of Eternic Village When I first heard the story, I knew I had to find it. It is said it was a beautiful place, rich in the purest of ether. Eternic. Eternic was also famous for the magical items produced and traded there, including the ultra-rare ether crystals. The legend goes the village was lost hundreds of years ago. But I knew it would be there if I looked. I knew I would find the crystal there. Well, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do now. So, I'll tell you. We're going to meet our friends above, of course. That's why I'm looking for the ether crystals in the first place. I knew it the first crystals in the First time I saw one, before today, I've only seen three in my life. Each time I looked into one, I saw the same group of friends. They were always on different adventures, deserts, caves, even classrooms. I could not really, but it was clear they were helping someone, just like they helped us today. I have a feeling we'd have a lot of interesting things to talk about if we met they 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 face to face. And the way we do that is simple. Find all of them. Interesting. I, I see. That's, that's well and good. But where does that leave me? Well, I'm not certain, but I think now that you've been realized, you have no choice but to accompany me, Mr. Artisan. <laughs> but wait. There is one more trade we need to do. The friends I saw standing around us, they gave us this beautiful orange crystal. As any respectable merchant, I must make a fair trade. I know just the thing. Oh, and what's that? <laughs> The appraiser pulls out her compass. It's no longer spinning. She smiles wide at it and then wraps it in a piece of brown cloth. <laughs> Yet again, you look like you know more than you're letting on. Still smiling, the appraiser closes her eyes and throws the compass over the cliff. The artisan tries to follow it with his eyes, but the moonlight shines off the water, too bright, and he loses track. <coughs> there are no ripples. Where did it go? The artisan squints in confusion at what he just witnessed. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache. I don't think I'll ever, ever truly understand just what's going on with you. The appraiser turns to look at him. The gentle mountain breeze moves through her hair. Yeah, but don't worry. I have faith they will figure it out. Travelers, my friends, welcome to the good ending of the appraiser. Yay! <laughs>
That's two good endings in a row for me. <laughs> I need to buy new controllers now. Same. Am I gonna take a shit over that? Travelers, travelers, your attention, please. Just twenty chicken nuggets. Travelers, before I, s well, one thing I will mention first. For those of you new here, wondering what's going on with these lines about the encephalon and the story being forced away from your choices. That is because this tour was a rerun, and we brought it back to show all of the endings for everyone that missed them, and today was the forced good ending of this story. I apologize if that broke the immersion a little bit. Well then, travelers, kindly, if you would, put your hands together for my fellow tour guides and today's NPCs. We can always buy new ones. Excellent performance. Where's all around? That was index. They're freaking out of everything. Oops, I three months. I know. I just got my two free. And just want the base station. I will probably pass out. But a few more things, travelers. We are VR travelers, and we do this for free. We do this for fun. We do. Ask one thing in return, and that is that you join our Discord and post your thoughts from today's tour there, or even the photos you took. We do have channels for photos of all of our tours, and it's quite wonderful. If you really enjoy the work that we put into this, and you want to see, and you want to help us commission more worlds, and write more stories. Kindly support us on Patreon. Our tours are free, but by joining our Patreon, you will pay only three dollars, and you will help us commission these projects. You will also get a access to play NPCs in our tours, like the Jack O' Lantern of today and the Attractive Farmer. You will also have access to previews of our upcoming projects and some of the behind-the-scenes things that we post. Well then, travelers, in about five minutes or so, I'll open a portal to the after party back to the rendezvous. If you haven't done already, kindly join our Discord. The ID to it is my status in VR chat. All right, friends. Are you forgetting the group I'm out of photo breath. again? Oh yes, the group photo. <laughs> Apologies. Everyone, okay. we would like to take a commemorative group photo. May I ask oh. all of you, where should we stand in this world for the photo? Hmm. Right I think definitely have the waterfalls in the background. <laughs> oh. mm. Haven't we have? Tree. Haven't we just do it right here with the whole city? Yeah. 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 We can always go to the dock. Uh, yeah, true. That's true. Uh, anywhere is fair enough. Let's do it here. Because meeting the group would be quite a big ordeal. And That's true. I think the ending gate here to yeah, this projected world is right. quite fitting. So, I ask this. Is there a photographer among us? I, I can surely see. That was pretty sus of him, right? No, no, I would have requested the captain to put him back again. Or green. Sounds pretty <laughs> sus to me. Yeah, green is wrong too. Yeah, the stars in back. We all have a stars in front. You know, it's a green. Yeah, totally fine. You. It would be my carry. Yes. Oh. You be turning on all the yellow cards, so. Cyber. There we go. I'm on the ground now. I'm going to stand next to you. Make sure I'm not going to be around. Here you go. I'm going to set. I'm going to set. Oh, I'm going to set. Hey, so. Get in my head. In your head. <laughs> Is there a dog in your head? Zombie, zombie. I'll, I'll go to, yeah. And you sit down on Nozomi. <laughs> <laughs> so, what shall we say on three? Four. Oh. Pumpkins. Two. Where's that camera? Pumpkins. 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 Pumpkins
On the count of three, what should we say? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. It's the pumpkins. 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 All right, friends. Pumpkins. On the count of three, we should all scream your favorite pumpkin dish. Ready? One, two, three. We're never done today, it's okay to be busy. Yes. Okay. All right. No, don't do it. Okay, good. All right, it's yeah. perfect. Travelers, the floor is yours. I can't speak anymore, or else I'll die. Oh, good night. Don't die. Don't die. Nice shoes. <laughs>